more referring to like the actual moment that yeah he, he's taught well one of the things Shah Wali Allah says is that at the moment of death you will a lot of openings will happen that's why martyrs the Prophet ﷺ said the only person that wants to come back to the world in order to die again and again is the martyr because of the experience of death what happens at that moment it's so incredible so so that that is uh Shah Wali Allah says all these openings will happen at that moment. Like you will see paradise and you will see angels and you will see these things. And, and that's why Man Ahaballahu Liqa'ahu, it's he said that he, he interpreted that to be at the moment of death. What Aisha radiallahu was talking about was Kuluna Nakarahul Maut. In other words, it's a natural thing. To, to dislike death. None of us, I mean, we're, are, we're designed to avoid um, these things. Like we'll, you know, I mean, courage is a very interesting thing because courage, a courageous person will do things that, in which they can get killed. But they do it for a, there's, a, there's a, a goal behind it. It's not nihilistic like a lot of the violence today. The, today the violence is nihilistic. It has no real purpose. It's just to inflict pain on others, but you're not achieving any victories by it. And then it becomes nihilistic. Whereas the, the courageous one will know when it's proper to do that and when it's not. So, so everybody, that, that, that point is, is well taken. But Chef, I was wondering more of like the, maybe there's a connection to uh, Maulana Rumi because he mentions like, this idea of dying before. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to. Uh, I had it here. I was going to. Yeah, that, I was going to recite that because Rumi, uh, and I don't know if he got this. He probably had read Raghib, uh, but uh, he was a great inspired poet. So when he's talking about this, is not evolution. It's the fact that we were mi mineral, and and then we became v vegetable, and then we became animal. So that those are the stages of creation because. You know, your body is, comes from the earth, so that's the mineral phase. But then, and then you go into the vegetative, which is the growth and nutrition. And then you go into the animal, which is sentience, feeling. And then you become human. It's a different type of creation. So he says, I died as mineral and became a plant. I died as plant and rose to animal. I died as animal and I was human. Why should I fear? When was I less by dying? Yet once more I shall die human, to soar with angels, blessed above. And when I sacrifice my angel soul, I shall become what no mind ever conceived. As a human, I will die once more, reborn. I will with the angel soar. And when I let my angel body go, I shall be more than mortal mind can know. So that is essentially saying the same thing. What did you ever lose by dying? And that's, that was the point of Raghib at the end of the... Uh, of the book is that you know you were a nutfa and then Allah made you alaqa and then you became mudra and then you became uh, laham and ilam and each stage you were getting better so you weren't losing anything by dying from the previous thing and then you're made a human and then you're going to die so he's saying the 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 verse is very clear that each stage was better than the previous stage so death will be better well done. The fact that that process, you know, that that phenomenon exists as it does is a proof of his, his gratitude by virtue of it being a steady improvement and, and, and again, a steady rarification and, and it just gets better and, and better. Yeah, and, better. and it's happening everywhere yeah. all the time. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, 
So you mentioned that uh, death is essential for the completion of uh, human potential, and uh, that makes me wonder whether the fana that is granted to the great saints, right. whether that's also a form of death. I mean, it absolutely is because they're perfected in this world. So, so the uh, you know I talked about that earlier that the path of salvation, which is the majority of Muslims are on, is different from sanctification. So the path of sanctification involves a death here in this world, which is the uh, the death of the ego, and and that that's a th those are the the kummal. The Prophet Sallallahu said they're rare those people, the kummal. And, and uh, that's an insan al-kamal. So he's completed in this world. And those are, I mean, obviously all the prophets have that maqam. But then there's the awliya that, that, uh, that, uh, ha that have that maqam, right? I mean, all believers, you should consider every believer a wali of Allah. But there's degrees of wilaya, just like there's degrees of... of uh, of wealth, the degrees of intelligence, degrees of everything in the world. It's all degrees. So there's degrees of wilai. And you don't know people's maqam. You don't know. You have to be very careful with people, even with non-Muslims. I mean, the Moroccans say, don't have any, because Allah hides his awliya in, in his creation. And, and, and you don't know. Omar was beloved to God when he was uh, uh, an idolater in Mecca. Because that's not who Omar was. Allah knew who Omar was. So Allah's, Allah doesn't change. Allah knew that Omar was a wali there and then. So you don't know where people, where people are at. Everybody's evolving. We're all evolving. Dehya. Uh, Mosab, Afwan. the nate the